My name is Krista and I'm with the College of Food, Agricultural and Environmental Sciences here at Ohio State. Uh, we're one of the cornerstone colleges of the institution, which just means that we were one of the earliest founded, um, which gives us a lot of really interesting history and context. So a big part of what we do, I joke that we're the College of Food, Water and Shelter. So if you think about what you need to eat, how do we make sure that our systems are sustainable, how do we make sure that um, where we live are healthy places, how do we make sure that our buildings are safe and um, best uh, utilize the resources within those communities. A lot of those are the sorts of things that we think about in the college. So um, we're one of the smaller units at Ohio State, which is awesome because we're able to really provide personalized attention. So a student who wants the opportunity to engage directly with faculty, the student who really wants one-on-one -on -one attention or who really wants a close relationship with their faculty or staff advisor, those sorts of things. Um, are really easily found in the college, which is really awesome. Um, but our majors are also pretty diverse. So even though we have smaller, um, a smaller number of students in terms of enrollment, we have over 20 different majors that are everything from education to engineering, um, to community leadership, to anything environmental, natural science related. So lots of different things. We like to think that our students are ones that are really interested in making an impact. So the goal is how can I take my time at, at Ohio State and develop the skills that will allow me to fix some of these change challenges and issues that are facing our world and community. So a student that wants to make an impact, a student that wants relationships, and a student that really wants to be at a place um, where they can feel supported, I think that this college is very well positioned to provide those things. So we still have lots of students that come from smaller communities that have a lot of context for agriculture. We also see a ton of students that are really thinking about like how can I answer some of these broad challenges facing communities that I'm in so they could be environmentally related they could be in education they could be lots of different types of things that our students want to answer and we just are the best place to do that so for a student that says I have no interest in working in an agricultural space my answer to that would be a lot of our students have no interest in working in an agricultural space we see tons of folks that are really passionate about making an impact and making a change so I think if that's you, that's a good fit. Um, if an employer, keep in mind that as a land grant institution, so we're just a school that was established and part of that was so that we could think about things like agricultural um, sciences, engineering, some of those majors that are really key to developing the infrastructures of community. You can't separate that from agriculture, especially because in Ohio, it's the biggest industry in the state. Um, so if an employer sees agriculture as a major, we have not found that to be a deterrent at all. And I think that that's also informed by our job placement rate. Um, but I think that a lot of it is students being able to talk uh, about the specific experiences that they had that are unique to students at a large university like Ohio State, but now you're in a program that has a couple thousand students. So it's a little bit easier for us to distribute resources and those sorts of things. Um, so we always encourage if students are trying to make that decision, we welcome them to come chat with us, either with our advising team. I'm always happy to chat with students because we have a lot of us that are not necessarily having the same agricultural background as one might assume, but I know for me as a lay person that has kind of come into this space and has learned a lot, if you think about how do I access clean water, if you think about how do I make sure that the food that I'm eating is safe and that there will be enough for me and my family, all of those questions are questions that are related to the things that students are, the, the challenges that students are facing in the majors, which is really, really awesome. So one thing that we really emphasize in the college is hands-on experience and direct interaction with the content that students are interested in. Um, that'll vary pretty significantly from major to major and department to department. So if you are a student in agricultural communication, your courses will be pretty significantly different than a student that's in like an agronomy based program. But uh, the hands on and direct contact with um, any majors kind of is prevalent throughout. So an example could be our agricultural communication major, which could be for students that are interested in communication and just the, the commodity that you're marketing or communicating about is an agricultural related product. The capstone project for those students is the development of a full magazine that's everything from ad sales to design layout to conducting all interviews every single phase of that is part of those students senior project so we can talk about marketing and we can talk about what it means to go out and and secure a sponsor for an ad but for us the goal is how can we actually get you to do that 
So depending on what a student's interested in, um, they'll be able to sort of find that depending on the major that they choose. So if they're interested in hard science, we have majors that are related to that. If they're interested in something that's more people focused, we have several majors interested in that. Um, so it's pretty diverse. But I think the thing that we really try to emphasize is direct engagement with that curriculum. So if you're a student that chooses to major in animal sciences, for example, we have a lot of students that come in and maybe don't have a ton of context or contact with production agriculture. So maybe I've been around domestic animals animals, dogs, cats, but I haven't really ever been around a cow or a sheep or a goat. Um, so we actually have full facilities on the Columbus campus where we can engage students. We have animal handling classes that are required. So that allows you to get some, some actual practical experience, number one, to have a better grasp on what you're learning, and number two, to find out, do I really like this? We would much rather you have some hands-on direct experience and realize maybe this isn't the best fit for me so that we can try to identify something that might be a more appropriate fit for your talents and passions. Sure. So one thing we're really proud of in the college is that we have a job or post-grad placement rate of about 92%. So that would be students either going directly into the workforce or students that are looking into graduate and professional programs after graduation. Um, one of our largest majors, animal sciences, is a, is a direct feeder for veterinary programs across the U.S. So we do see a significant number of students that are looking to go straight into graduate school after undergrad. But for students that are looking for work, that's something that we also really pride ourselves on connecting students with resources. Lots of different things that we do within the college. The first is we have our own career fairs that are specifically looking for students that are pursuing agricultural, natural, environmental, or related sciences. So we actually have five different career fairs just for students that have chosen a major in CFAES or related to the college. So perhaps you're an engineering student, but your specialization is related to agriculture. You might come to that career fair as well. Um, but with that, we have two full-time staff whose whole job is just careers. So they work with and partner with students, everything from resume support to on-site interviews. Um, but again, I think one thing that really sort of demonstrates the uh, viability of these majors is our really high job placement rate. Uh, one thing that we note for students that are considering our majors is that the U.S. Department of Labor um, estimates that of all of the jobs that are being created in agricultural, natural, and related spaces, only about 60% of those jobs currently are being filled with students that have this specialized skill set in agriculture. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that we just don't produce enough graduates. So we just don't have enough students to fill all of the jobs that are being created. So if I'm an employer and I'm looking at a specialized space and I have the choice between a student that studied sustainable plant systems and it has a really specific academic skill set and a student that studied biology, both of those students might be equally able to do to fill that role, but part of it is the curriculum is so specific to um, certain industries, so there's a lot of really attractive options. Um, we do also see students that work outside of the industry, so an example would be our um, applied economic students who um, the shortened we'll hear ag business, but students who might choose that major will see everything from um, JP Morgan to um, finance companies, lots of really general non-agricultural related jobs. So it really depends on what is the student's interest and what they feel like would be the best fit. So we have several dozen different student organizations within the college. Um, those can be specific to majors. So if you want to be in the um, Agricultural communication, Communicators excuse me, of Tomorrow, ACT, so that's an organization for students that are specifically interested in communication. Um, we have Greek Life connected directly to um, the college. I'm actually an advisor for one of our sororities. So we have both fraternities and sororities within the college. We have leadership opportunities, everything from like student council to student recognition. Um, we have an ambassador team that I get to work with pretty closely. We have a peer mentor group. So all of our new first year students are assigned a peer mentor. So for students that are interested in serving other students, it's a really great way to get involved. So lots of different things, um, but we also see students that are involved broadly across campus. So maybe they've chosen one of our majors and perhaps they're involved in one or two things within the college, but they also are really engaged in other activities across the university. We absolutely welcome that as well. So a big part, I think, of Ohio State's goal is to provide as exhaustive an amount of resources as we, as we can. Um, in the college, we try to specialize some of those resources down here. So if you're specifically interested in how can I translate my experience within my major um, our manners chapter, which is multicultural students and agricultural, natural, and related sciences might be a good fit for some students. So there's lots of different ways to get engaged in the college.
So there are lots of different courses that are available. So like if a student is really passionate about antro animals and they wanted to take intro to animal sciences or some other related course, we would definitely recommend that. Um, we do absolutely encourage students to come and sit down with one of our academic advisors if they're interested in changing their major. Um, that way we can do a more comprehensive evaluation of the credits that you're already coming in with, the courses that you've already taken, and talk a little bit more about your interests. One thing especially I can say as a person that um, has a different context in agriculture, sometimes our biggest challenge for students is just figuring out what exactly is the major that's related to what I'd like to do. So I've heard of botany. I didn't know that there was plant pathology and sustainable plant systems with four different specializations. So there's lots of different ways that students can choose to pursue their interest in the college. So we'd recommend for you to sit down with folks in our advising community and just talk a little bit about what your interests are. We're happy to could um, contact you with a current student or get you engaged with somebody that's already in a major that you might be considering so that we can determine, you know, or help you determine what's the best fit. Yeah, I mean, okay. I think the biggest thing is, especially as a person that this is not my background, um, I have no idea what the opportunities were that were here. I went to a large land grant institution as well, and it was an incredible experience, and I just didn't even know what was happening in our College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. No real context. So it's a really, really incredible place and we're happy to, to share it with you if you'd let us.